Madam Secretary, does the DHS plan to give authorization to all the people who are exempt from the deportation uh, uh, under uh, the exempt deportation under the executive order of June 15th? And further, approximately how many illegal immigrations as a result of that will receive work per, uh, permits? Uh, uh, clarification, it's, there's no executive order per se. This is a memorandum from myself as the secretary to the component heads of the Department of Homeland Security uh, uh, setting out the deferred action program. Well, the answer is yes, however we, we will be well, able how, to apply for work authorization. Okay. Uh, how many uh, illegals would be uh, uh, given work permits? Well, again, they can apply for work authorization. They're going to have to meet the standards for uh, uh, being eligible for work authorization, but the linkage between deferred action and work authorization application goes back to the 1980s. That's a long well, what, what, Whatever the requirements are, is it going to be two or three people or two or three hundred thousand people? Uh, 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 you know, we get some, we got three or four hundred people out of work here in the country now. Yes, uh, uh, Congressman, and there are, if I might back up a moment, because this was an issue that I, I thought about deeply before I wrote my memorandum, uh, because jobs for Americans are very important. My conclusion was, and we probably differ on this, but my conclusion was that there are lots of ways, different ways, to stimulate job creation. Some of them are before the Congress now. Uh, but we shouldn't balance the American economy on the backs of children who were brought here mostly Ma through the Madam of their own. Madam Secretary, with all due respect, because of the time and with the help of my good friend Mr. Watt, I really would like to have some succinct answers just out of uh, respect for time. How many people as a result of this that are illegal in this country will be able to work in this country while we have 14 million American citizens that are without work? Do you have just an approximate number? I think, uh, uh, Congressman, I try to keep my answers uh, succinct, and I, I just think I would tell you that mind. there is no real estimate. I've seen as Could be a million. Uh, we don't know. Okay. That, you've answered my question. Uh, DHS does not currently plan to require DREAM amnesty applicants to provide a certified school transcript. It seems to me that that's the only way to prove that those individuals were in the country and are eligible uh, under some of these provisions. Do you plan to um, require applicants to provide that certified school transcript or not? Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, we're still working through the details on some of that. Our plan is to accept different types okay. of documents and to enhance right. how, our fraud prevention efforts. How can you still be working through those details when I understand over a thousand individuals have already been granted uh, status under these provisions? Uh, we're working through the, the um, details of how someone who is applying through CIS, what records they have to produce. And we still don't know the details about whether transcripts are going to be required or not? Well, school transcripts, residency records, medical records, anything to show residency, age, what have you. Right. And then we will evaluate on a case-by-case -case basis so, those documents. So the certified school transcripts may or may not be required? I think that's fair to say. Okay, good.